Hello everybody and welcome to the second video in our series of videos on the Industrial Revolution. As always we begin with our learning outcomes so by the end of this presentation you guys should know how the steam engine advanced and how it really changed the face of industry. Second you guys should know how industry developed from cottage cottage industries to more industrial industries and finally you guys should know what division of labour is and what conditions in a factory were like at the time. So in the last video we looked at what the Industrial Revolution was, when it happened, uh, some factors as to why it happened in Britain and a few of the inventions that revolutionized the textile industry. Today we'll begin to be looking at the most important invention of the Industrial Revolution, the steam engine. The initial steam engine used at the beginning of the revolution was patented by Thomas uh, Newcomen. Uh, it was powered by burning coal um, uh, and it moved up and down. As you can see, the coal would be burned here at the bottom. Um, and it was a machine used to pump out water from coal mines so that they could get more coal. That, that was the purpose of what the steam engine was designed for. Uh, it was improved upon by a man called James Watt. Um, he uh, added a flywheel, which gave the engine this rotary motion, which you can see there, this, or this turning motion. Um, and with this advantage, uh, sorry, with this uh, advancement, uh, steam engines could now be used with belts to power all kinds of machines. And it wasn't just used for um, extracting water from coal mines. Uh, for example, as we saw some of the advancements in the textiles industry in our last video, more advancements, including Sam Samuel Compton's spinning mill and uh, Edmund Carthwright's power loom, these were powered by water wheels. A water wheel was a type of hydropower, which meant that these tax textile factories had to be built near rivers to have access to this water to, to power the water wheel. But with the introduction of the uh, steam engine, the machines could be more powerful and factories could be built anywhere. That brings us to the next point uh, in the rise uh, of the Industrial Revolution, and that is about factories. So factories used uh, machinery and unskilled workers to mass produce products. Um, prior to factories, most products were made in small workshops or in people's homes. Uh, this was known as the cottage industry. Um, so prior to factories, most products were, um, as I said, made in these small workshops. But with the factories, products could be made cheaper, faster, and in larger quantities. Um, with the advent of the steam engine, these factories could uh, move to towns and not have to rely on a, the water power. Um, they usually could only access in the countryside. The man um, credited with the growth of the factory system was a man called Richard Arkwright. Arkwright set up a factory in Cromford in near Derby in, in 1765. However, conditions in these factories could be tough. Factories were run for profit, so expensive safety measures were ignored and many injuries, including uh, maiming, loss of limbs and, and even losing your life happened in these very dangerous factories due to something called the division of labor. Now, when we say division of labor, what it means is that each worker was given a specific task in the making of a product. They didn't have knowledge of the whole process. So they could just be trained in on this one specific little task. Because of that, they were... Um, factory owners were able to use unskilled workers. Uh, you didn't have to be a very skilled person to operate one part of the, of the assembly line or the factory line as it was. Um, this... Uh, use of uh, unskilled fact, uh, uh, factory workers gave the factory owner a massive amount of power over the people in the factory uh, because he could easily replace them. And harsh rules and strict punishments were enforced. Factories were overcrowded, they were very noisy, um, and huge numbers of women and children were employed in the factories as well. Uh, primarily because women will be paid half of what a man was and children will be paid even less than that again. Um, the children were also small and they could crawl under machinery if thread broke in one of the machines. And this was a very dangerous job with many children being killed or losing their limbs. Um, the majority of men who worked in these factories were in roles of supervisors or overseers and they were in this role so that they could bully or intimidate the women and children uh, who were working in their factories. You can see from this photo, here this man towering over this young child uh, and it would have been a very intimidating uh, situation for the, the people working in the factory. Uh, 
So that brings us to the end of our presentation. So by now you guys should know how the steam engine advanced and how it changed industry. You should also now know how industry developed from cottage industries to more industrial industries. And finally, you guys should know what the vision of labor is and what conditions in fact you were like during the industrial revolution. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys got something good from this video.